buildings here really are incredible. The detail in the woodwork is quite extraordinary. Is that a statue of Odin? They must really love him here. Or feel. Sindri! Hello! I'd return your surprise, but I did know you'd be here. I've got something for you. What is it, Dwarf? You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. Oh, if these cobblestones could talk. Then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouths. Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? Ugh, you are long overdue for a replacement. <sighs> Taking advantage of certain material... Ow! Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something... Uh, I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for, uh, finally trying it? What's it gonna be this time? Patience! I find it's best to see these things... Oh, in action! Ah! Whoo! There. Oh, take aim at that gate there. But before you loose, say... Skialfa. I didn't expect you to disturb half the creepy crawlies in need of a leer. How was I supposed to know they were there? Right side, brother! Okay, so, Sterling. Any idea where the tavern is? Do I look like I've ever been to a filthy tavern? The sewer you just punched a hole through seems promising, though. For you. It should lead to the other side of the city. It's not like you're able to open other doors around here. <laughs> Appreciate it. So this lockdown really is because of us? Oh my, yes. Odin's grip on this realm is so firm, any outsider is considered a threat. Sounds like an Odinism if I ever had one. Another of Cavassia's poems. Best of luck. Any outsider is considered a threat. Is that to protect the dwarves? It sounds like it. But knowing Odin, there's sure to be an ulterior motive. Well, everyone's hiding on this side too. Odin's occupation of this realm has its hooks in. Deep. 
sites there aren't any guards patrolling. We're clearly not a threat. Why hide? Resist and you're made an example of. To keep the rest in line. Self-preservation can outweigh bravery for even the strongest of folk. Fear keeps them safe and alive. <laughs> Tavern's gotta be around here somewhere. Maybe we can try knocking on some doors for directions. A firebomb from the chief anti Odin propagandist in Durland's Rebellion. Quite a sharp wit she had until she turned to less simple means of resistance. <laughs> This looks promising, right? Well, it's like a house. If he's here, maybe you should let me do the talking. You? Well, we don't want to intimidate him. You're tall as a tree and you have a severed head on your head. <clears throat> None taken. Good point, though. Very well. I think that's him. Hello? Watch yourselves. Apparently, there are intruders about. Oh, that's us, I think. Eh, well, if you're planning on killing me, at least let me finish this song. That alarm was in just the perfect key. We're just looking for a friend of ours named Derlin. <laughs> well, we both know that's not true. Derlin's got no friends left. But if that's all you need, head out the back way there and you'll see the safety office just across the river. Just don't go making trouble for the rest of us. And while you travel through this realm, maybe you could clean up the head's mess? What mess? Later, brother. I wish to hear of this mess. The rig's in the bay. Why don't you ask the condescending skull? Head, I've got skin. But he's right. I made a mistake. I'd have us shut them down. Sir. 
Sorry, one more thing. Although, these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry and you should be thankful. Anyways, here, please be careful. It's beautiful. Thanks, Sindri. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's also very useful. You'll be able to find anything your heart desires with it. Really? As long as your heart desires the locations your father and you decide and plot to travel together, then yes. It is a compass. Ah, but a beautiful compass. Now scamper off. Come. A boat cannot be far. Huh. Really, your Sindri made it sound like Derlin was some sort of rebellion leader. Doesn't sound like anyone's following him. Was being the key word here, little brother. I saw a dock back there. Maybe there's a boat we can use to get to Derlin's. There's a building just past these rocks behind me. Maybe we should head that way. Ah, those bloody mining rigs. What about them? The Skald is right to blame me for them. They were my idea. If you've got the time, they're in the bay just beyond this tunnel. I'd particularly appreciate us checking out the mining rigs in the lake to the right. You can see the smokestacks from here. But if you don't want to explore now, it looks like Derlin's place is through that open gate to the left. So, which way do we go? We could prepare more before rescuing Tyr. Up to you. So we're going to Durland's? Makes sense. We could always explore those mining rigs later. This is the safety office? Well, the sign of hair's breadth away from a head injury up there certainly gives that impression. We're looking for Derlin? You have an appointment? Uh, no? Has anyone ever had an appointment here? <laughs> Here's a collect on something, pal. 
Think uh, parading a severed head around on your hip is gonna scare me into somehow approving Estrid's accretion proposal, eh? We are looking for a prisoner of Odin's. <laughs> He's being kept in a mine somewhere. Some friends of ours said that you could help. Where did you get... You chop her head off with that too, eh? She was my wife. Dina and I wondered where she went after our little coup here failed. Failed? Yeah, come, come. Failed. Dead. Best of them all. One's left alive after pay the price. I'm afraid <clears throat> I can't help you with your little prisoner situation. But he could have answers on how to stop Odin and free Svartalfine from the Aesir. Now, I'm not in the business of crossing the old father anymore. Wait, before you go. Take this. What is it? A fine. Hygiene code violation for improper transport of a rotting head. Uh, two demerits for speaking the All Father's given name and, uh, yeah, yeah. For fucking up my desk! A fine? Pay it at your leisure, okay? Get out of my office. Hey there. So what about get out of my office? Don't you understand? You said her name was Diener? Oh, uh, sure. Thank you. I think. Hey, this isn't a fine. The dwarf has given us a map. Sort of. Uh, you smelled him? But it seems to lead to a mine beyond that mountain. Ah. Tyr! Durlan helped us anyway. Not everyone uses axes and arrows to fight. <laughs> 